to slow down Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out So all's well in the studio today and I have been just catching up on some communications and emails and stuff and um, yeah everything's looking really nice in the studio so I've got um, yeah I've got some flowers looking rather nice desk is still clear and then over over here let's just um, hang on a sec yeah over here I've got um, yeah a, li a little place to actually work yeah, most of these projects here are almost finished um, and a couple are finished. But I've got a pile just here of, yeah, unfinished things, which really, yeah, they're kind of talking to me a little bit now and need finishing. And then I've also got, um, yeah, the jewellery that I am still in the process of finishing. So all the earrings and the cabochons, um, yeah, I've got to finish them. So I might actually get on that today. I'll see how I get on. And my flowers, the, the lilies have opened now, which is really pretty. I've got a little bit of a droopy um, tulip there as well. I kind of think I'd quite like to paint some more flowers today as well. And I've got um, one of my canvases prepped with a dark background as well. So that might be quite fun to get um, going. It's not hugely straight. I think that's a little bit better. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And I've got, you know, my water's ready and everything to begin. So so let's just turn the camera around then and have a little chat. Hang on a sec. So that's better. I can see you now and we can, uh, yeah, chat properly in the internet world anyway. So I'm having a bit of a crazy day so far. It's, uh, it's Monday today and I've been really, really busy out of the studio if you like so I've not been in the studio that long I had to go to the supermarket and get some food because I didn't have any any food to eat so things like that and also preparing for visitors that are coming this week I'm having a creative slowdown I think because I don't have any creativity that I need to do this week really so I could have a slower week and as I say I've got visitors coming on Wednesday anyway so Mm, it's kind of nice to have one of those slowdown weeks as I'm dipping into February and it's it's the new moon so for us in the UK it's actually tomorrow and so yeah I think I'm just sort of doing new moony type things where I'm just going into my cocoon a little bit slowing down a little bit reviewing things a little bit and I have to say as well that I did actually sleep last night which is absolutely amazing so I had couple of really really bad nights sleep last week and so what I've been doing is instead of kind of focusing on you know getting into the studio earlier and doing my work and prioritizing that I've actually been prioritizing my sleep and myself and that's really helped me so that when I do get into the studio I'm, I'm tons more productive I'm much happier I'm much calmer and yeah I just feel all around much much better in order to help me sleep I've kind of rejigged my evening routine which which I've been meaning to do for months and months and months but I just haven't felt pulled to do it at that time or I just felt I didn't have time to really spend on myself which is really silly especially considering you know how much I talk about self-care and self-love and you know we need to take care of ourselves so my sleep or lack of has become a problem <laughs> so it's it's really preventing me from functioning properly and yeah feeling motivated and and that kind of thing so it got to the point kind of like an emergency really and so I've made a few changes at home to my evening routine and and it mostly involves um taking things away rather than adding things in so instead of adding extras I've actually simplified it and that seems to be working really, really well for me. And um, yeah, one of the things I like to prioritize is instead of going to the supermarket later in the day, I actually think about what I'm gonna have for dinner earlier on in the day. And then that sort of clears up that decision um, of, of what to have later, if that makes sense. 
I think it's really important to recognise, for me anyway, that decision making and the whole decision making process, be it a teeny tiny decision or, or a bigger decision, is it's tiring. Yeah, I become decisioned out, if you like. I don't know if that happens to you, but that's it. I've got, I've got so many decisions in me in a day. And, and then once that's done, I'm done. And James will say something to me and I'll say, does it involve a decision? And he'll go, yeah. And I'll say, can you tell me tomorrow or is it urgent? And he usually says, I can tell you tomorrow. And so I buy myself a bit of time and then I'm a little bit more energetic with my decision making the following day. But yeah, that, that's been a really important point for me to note of late, decision making um, energy, if you like. <laughs> So I've had a bit of a disaster with, with James's van this morning as well. So his van has broken down. And so we've got some extra rejigging to do for our week. And it's already a bit tight because James has got quite a lot of work on this week as well. So we had a little meeting this morning and rejigged everything. And he needs to borrow my car in the morning. After that, we've got something exciting happening because we have found a house to rent that we like. We haven't looked at it yet. So tomorrow morning is basically, we're going to go and have a look round. We're going to have a viewing and see if we like it. And I'm not 100% convinced that it's going to work because I need it to have a home studio for the price it is, if you like. So it's kind of the option I would go for if I go for the home studio option. And so I'm quite excited because it's the first house we'll have looked at since we decided we might want to move to a place with a garden. So if you've not seen any of my other videos, in a nutshell, I live in a flat at the moment and it's not on the ground floor, so there's no garden and we would quite like a garden. And I know James would really like a garage and I know that I would be happy working from a home studio. But the prices are crazy, I think, because of the lockdowns and stuff. And also it's really, really hard to actually um, win the flat. So in years gone by, it was fairly easy. You could do a viewing and then if you really liked it, you could put your application in. But now it's a little bit more like a job interview. Now, I don't know if it's like that anywhere else in the world. It's certainly the case in England because I know quite a few people where, where it's been really, really hard to actually find a place that you like and then actually be the chosen tenant. So this is the rental market I'm talking about, not the buying a house market. But yeah, it's been really, really hard. And so all the houses and flats and things that come through, I don't really like them because I'm a bit particular. And where we're living right now is really, really nice. So it's, it needs to tick more boxes and not be too expensive because as I say, these prices are a bit silly. Anyway, we, James and I have decided that we're going to go and have a look at this place because, yeah, it could be, um, it, it could be a nice place for us. It's kind of rural but not too remote, I think, and it's got enough space for me to potentially have a studio at home so and a garage for James because he would really like a sort of workshop space as well. So we'll see what that's like. So thanks for all your comments last week on the um, reset video because I kind of did a tidy up in here last week and I've brought a few things in from home actually because it's kind of given me the tidy up, declutter, spring, early spring cleaning bug and this weekend we've really been resetting the flat actually and, and moving some furniture around and changing some of the um, workspaces and things like that. Very therapeutic. And then in here, I've brought a few extra bits and bobs in because I had a fold up table at home I've been using as a, well, I was using in the lockdowns as a kind of home studio. So it's like a pop up table. So I've brought that back to the studio because it was taking up far too much space at home that I didn't need. And I want to clear the space. I'm kind of a bit minimalist. Well, quite a lot minimalist at home, which really opposes the situation I have in the studio. So if you've not seen my messy studio, you can watch last week's video if you like, or indeed any of the other videos, vloggy videos, because often in the videos it's a mess. So I'm having like a bit of a health reset. I am having a bit of a studio reset and also a home reset. And so tomorrow is the new moon. And then I think Mercury's going direct this week as well. I'm 
I am into astrology. So if you're not into any of that stuff, just ignore me. But I'm really into my astrology. Yeah, I follow quite a few astrologers on the internet. And yeah, also it's in bulk on the first and Chinese New Year. And a few weeks ago, I think when I was setting my sort of New Year intentions in my in my journal, I don't know if you remember, but I kind of said, I had the January blues basically, and I kind of said that I wasn't going to be doing anything with any great momentum in January, that I was going to give myself a break and maybe start my new year around the beginning of the Chinese New Year, which is the year of the tiger. So that's really quite exciting. Yeah, I have actually been to China because my daughter and son-in-law used to live there. So we went over for a visit a few years ago before the situation in the world, if you like, when we could travel easily. So. I'm sure we will again soon. It'll all be okay again. And we'll learn to sort of live with our new situation and it will all be fine. But um, yeah, obviously it's been a bit weird. Anyway, I have that affinity with China, seeing as I've been there and seeing as my daughter really loves the culture and things like that. So, so as well as doing this reset, as I'm saying, I have also at the same time been having a bit of a creative slowdown and I have been doing things um, you might have seen I did this I think in the last video I was painting this one and yeah this is now sold now so and I cannot really work out how bright the colors are it's really really bright and I really love it it's really like the colors are so vivid and I really like how this is turning out so I'm gonna do I think some more bright paintings I'm quite looking forward and I do love my dark backgrounds as well so I kind of do them side by side and I did a little um a little one in my this is my my painting sort of sketchbook as well just to have a little play really so I am creating but I've really noticed a slowdown and I'm not feeling in a super fast flow if that makes sense I'm in a slow flow I'm in a flow but it's slow and that's good I think it does me good I think it does us all good to ebb and flow. And we flow at, at different paces, don't we, as well? So. so I am okay with that. I think it's just, isn't it, to give ourselves permission to do a little bit and then to not do a little bit sometimes. And sometimes we're really in the flow and we don't want to sleep or go to bed or anything. We just want to create the whole time. And then sometimes it's the opposite. And so, yeah, I think I might just potter today and enjoy myself a little bit in here, if that makes sense. Kind of be pulled into things that are pulling me in rather than think, oh, I have to finish. I, I mean, it's hard finishing paintings, isn't it? Because you've got, you've got this painting sort of 80% done and then, yeah, you could ruin it. So it's a little bit stressful. So I don't want to be doing that today. I think I might do a bit of new painting and maybe a bit of jewellery.
So we had a good look round the place and yeah it's a little bit exciting and a little bit unsettling in a way that things may be changing for me and yeah I've just been having a big chat with James as well and so I guess watch this space and see what we're going to decide because we don't really know yet. I do know one thing though, I do know that if we took on a house it would be a home studio scenario for me so I would give up my studio and um, yeah sitting here this afternoon I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that yeah it's basically due to cost because obviously I pay for this place and so if I was getting a house that costs more which it does than a flat that we're currently in so cost is obviously something we really need to take into consideration yeah one of the main things really isn't it cost and prices have just gone crazy since the lockdowns, for us anyway, here in England. Ridiculous, actually. But yeah, we're just looking up some pros and cons and James does a spreadsheet of costs. So what we're currently paying versus what we would be paying in a bigger house. Because obviously you've got heating bills, more electricity, etc. It had some lovely extras though than what we've currently got. So yeah, careful thinking needed. But I just thought, you know, I'd show you around as we were looking as well and I'll um I'll take you house hunting with me if we find any other places to look round. We are very particular about places we look round though because of things like the energy rating, um EPC thing and location has to be right and yeah lots of other things because currently we're living in a really nice place so we're not desperate we don't have an emergency to get out or anything like that so we do have that luxury if you like of not being in a rush so we're just taking our time and seeing what's out there and if the right place does come up and it means having a home studio and letting go of this place then I guess I'll know that when it feels right what do I think about the place then after seeing it? I'm not 100% in actually 
and that's mainly due to cost analysis. It was really expensive and for that price I would want it to be absolutely a, a 10 out of 10 sort of perfect place to move to. But as I say, it did have some really nice features um, and a really nice feel to the place as well. Mm, I did rather like it. So we'll see. Yeah, I need to sleep on it. I like sleeping on things. Anyway, it was really good for us to go and have a look at a place because we haven't looked around anywhere yet. And we've literally had our ear to the ground for at least a year. It's given me some ideas and opened me out to some possibilities that maybe the universe brings it in. And they do say, don't they, that nothing is a certainty apart from change. So, I don't know. I just don't know. So, basically, in other news, I have been um, rummaging. I've basically lost this massive big sort of cream throw um, that I wanted to put on the sofa and I can't find it anywhere. So the other thing I needed to do, because we've got visitors coming tomorrow, my grand dog's son is coming and I can't wait and I'm dog sitting him. So yeah, I'll see if I can catch him on some film, filming for you. It's so cute and I want to eat him, but not really eat him, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I needed to grab some fabric. So I've just kind of piled it up. I don't know if you can see behind me because I need to put the curtain up in my spare room, which has currently just got blinds up, which isn't really good for blocking morning sunlight out if you want to have a sleep in. So I thought I'd put an extra piece of fabric up. It's not a curtain as such. It's gonna be like clipped up onto the hooks. So I'm going to do that. And I've also got some extra cushions and things like that to uh, make sure the guests are comfortable while they're here. I've got to go now actually because I'm taking James to pick up the van. So the mechanic at the garage has fixed the van now so I'm just about to drop him off so that he's then independent from me and then I can either yeah go home or come back here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But anyway, so I'll leave you in peace for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company as always and try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along.